Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Nothing says iconic vocal diva like being introduced to David Foster and him bringing you along to that concert. So it turns out he did uh, another version of David Foster and Friends, yes. but in Singapore this time. That's right. And uh, Siti Nurhaliza is singing with him. Three. The power of love. Siti yes, yes. My God, what a legend! Both of them. Yeah. I mean, Look he only... at her, though. He only works with legends. And she only wears top notch dresses. Would you like to talk to the people? Yeah, Assalamu alaikum, someone can come to oh. me the on stage to Thank sing this song. So this is the first time they've done it together. That's well, close. yeah. And I never said yeah? I didn't know, she's so legendary. And I never said yeah? What's up, yeah? This is Celine and my, our first number one hit that we had together. The very first one. That's right. Celine's number one here. Yes, yes, yes. But that was the first, the first time number we one. collaborated together, I think. Yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> wow, yeah. Foster's like, yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah that. That's it. Oh. And look at her reaching back. <laughs> is the She's tilting so of the larynx? Ooh. Is the tilt? Is the tilting of the larynx? Is really similar to what you hear in Celine's version, right? So she has this iconic tilt of the larynx that is a bit darkened and it's a bit like warm at the top of the of the vowel and suave. it's it is it's very <laughs> suave but ct has a similar take on that so she is tilting her larynx a ton but she still maintains her own color through it which is so nice and in comparison to her power ballads and what she's known for she's brighter in her in her vowels and she's brighter on her range as well so she tends to ring off the notes a little bit more that's it that's the best word of it indulgent it's so indulgent yes on that modulation though You hear that tilt. Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. How did they manage to maintain the 80s? Yeah, I love it. I was like, it's just so 80s. Like, if you were listening to this and you didn't know this was like an actual band, you would think this is a record from the 80s and you had no way to, how to many, change it. How many kids, like, you know, the TikTok <laughs> era, the Generation Z, right? Like yes. my generation. I guess I'm at the beginning of it or the end of it. Whatever. You're the beginning of the it. Beginning yes. Of it. And I hope I'll be the end. And... Um, <laughs> I guess the the kids my age um, that sort of do the whole TikTok and stuff like that. I wonder how many of them actually know like what this song represents. Yeah. Or, they, they... or how you used to wake up on a Saturday morning to your mom cleaning the house yeah, to this song. Because <laughs> I, I, obviously, if you grow up in music like I did, very different sort of upbringing in terms of you know recognizing the classics, recognizing yes. composers, recognizing the literature behind the music and stuff, the, mm -hmm. comp the compositions. But I, I feel like a lot of the new gen, yes. like don't don't really see this as valuable as it is. And and like oh, it's so iconic. I yeah, think it's hard to explain. Celine Dion got memed, right? Essentially, because because <laughs> of the you know power vocals. Um, but I, apart from the meme, you know. I wonder, like, if people really do understand, like, like the one enigmatic her, yeah, person yeah, yeah. and one enigmatic, like, uh, collaboration, collaboration this really was. Well, it, it, it basically set off the the iconic duo and power ballad bre breakthrough yep. of David Foster and Celine Dion. And from there on, it was just the sky's the limit for both of them. And what Celine did all across the world was essentially 
inspire as well people like the cities. Yeah, correct. People like the regimes, Velasquez right. of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's really interesting. It, from there, you more icons were born. Exactly, like, yeah. and then like City's voice. It's such an interesting. Obviously, again, languages play a part. Culture mm -hmm. plays a part. Yes. Exposure, your environment plays a part. But City is such a interesting version of a what a power balade was always known as. Yes, and uh, uh, probably indulgent is the best way to to describe her. So mm. and so f so so, so much full. flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's so full. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hell that bill. Oh, camera angle change. Oh, it's just, I'm, I'm just teletransported to the early 90s. <laughs> I love seeing people they, like play out their dreams. Oh, same, <laughs> same. Because this is like... It's so fulfilling and so satisfying. You can tell it means so much to her. Mm. And she's achieved basically everything in music. Oh, that's easy. Easy for her. Oh. Oh. Damn. Yes, yes. You know, actually, yes. I'd love to see City on the Wish bus because she, she's actually so popular all over Asia. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, she was, I think, at one point, literally like number one's number one, number one, number one. <laughs> literally, like I think she is one of the best-selling artists out of Asia ever. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing the whole MTV stuff, yes. and uh, she was like. I mean, she still is sort of royalty, but I mean, when she when, on the come up. Yeah, like the early 2000s, she really rocked. Yeah, dude, she, really she really rocked. Achieved. 